why not just go on a date, like, like just even like just to get to know somebody? The idea of going on a date sounds like a chore to me. Really? And it doesn't sound fun. If my perfect woman walked through that door, like, I don't know if I have the capacity to be super interested. Like, does Lauren have anything to do with it? Because, like, I feel like I've obviously never been in your situation. Yeah. So I don't know how much of you is clinging on to Lauren or yeah. just not being ready in yourself. I, I don't know. I don't know, Ash. It's weird. I'm, I'm still, like, this is where I, like, start to lose myself again. It's like, when you get engaged, I truly was so excited about the idea that, like, I'm going to spend the rest of my life with this person. But I think I don't want to be hurt again. Like, I desire a relationship. I, I dream of kids, and I dream of a family, and I dream of being a good dad and a good husband. But I also have to get to a place where I'm excited about dating, and I'm not. Yeah. To be honest, uh, I'm still emotionally dealing with the loss of that relationship. At some point, I have to ask the question, what exactly am I doing here? So I'm confused. Having watched you over the last week, I don't see you really taking part in the romance here, getting involved. I don't know. I just see this guy that's kind of drowning here, and this isn't you. You know, last time I was in an environment like this, I did think I was walking out of this with somebody that it, it was going to last forever. Coming back to a place like this brings up a lot of weird memories. Yeah. And then to try to engage in relationships here and know that uh, the last time I did this, I, you know, it was one of the best moments of my life. Right. But right here, right now, it just doesn't feel right. Yeah. I can tell. Yeah. My fear is not um, entering into a relationship. My fear is not pursuing somebody. My fear is that if I was to be broken again, I'm not full enough right now right. to recover from that. Right. And then you have all the comments coming in. Not even mean, not even intentional, but nobody realizes how real it was. Mm -hmm. And they say, did you really love her? Do you really care? I actually get emotional. Damn it, Chris. <laughs> but I don't know if you can relate, but when something that's so real to you then seems so small to everybody else, mm -hmm and not just friends and family, millions of people. Yeah. It breaks you every day. Mm. And that's what sucks. Yeah. Because as much as I've moved on, and I have, it still hurts. Even though we're months past it. Right. Dealing with the worst moment of your life is bad enough, having to do it publicly day in and day out, over and over and over again. It, it keeps you from moving on. Yeah. So then you've, I found myself back here. And I'm hoping this is a place for me to, to at least show that I, you know, what was happened was real. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for me to take steps forward. But you gotta be patient and you gotta realize that it doesn't just happen like that. No. But when it does happen, um, I, I can honestly tell you, when it does happen, I am ready for that. Yeah. Um, but until then, th there's just not a place for me here. One of the most encouraging things about being here is looking around me and seeing the couples that have formed. It makes me know that those kind of things can exist again. But right now, it's easier for me to be alone than to be with somebody. It is time for me to go. Yeah. So. Think about what you want to say to these guys, and I'm gonna slip out of here and get out, and I'll leave you to it. All right, brother. Thanks, man. All right, man. See you, Chris. Uh, what's up, guys? Hey, man. What's up? What's up? I think it's pretty clear. My time is is now to, to head out of here. Um, it's just harder for me to be here than not. Um, I had a good conversation upstairs, and one thing I didn't think would happen. There are a lot of ghosts that were brought up here for me. A lot of memories. And I'm sorry that I came here a little confused and confused some of you. Uh, but just know that I'm walking out of here really happy I met you all. I'm really happy I did this. 
So with that, I wish all the best. Uh, I'm out of here. You're great. You're great. Thank you for everything. She's done. You are a light, okay? Keep everybody else here happy, please. Yes. <laughs> Allie. See you guys. Get up safe. Bye. 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 Bachelor worked for me. I fell in love. And I came here because I truly want to feel those feelings again. But I know I'm not ready to enter into anything here. I 100% want a relationship. I know that I desire love more than I ever have before. But it's time for me to, to recover outside of this, to get some, some privacy, to get some time for myself. I think there's potential for actual love here. A hundred percent. Just wasn't for me.